Here we have an introduction to the orienteering map. The orienteering maps are always oriented to magnetic north at the top of the map. These blue lines are put there as magnetic north lines, but actually any of the vertical lines can be used to help orient your map. The most obvious thing about the map are the colors. So the white area is wide open beautiful forest. The yellow area with the white dots is an open area with scattered trees. The darker the green, the thicker it is. And as a suggestion, don't ever try to go through the dark green. Other colors are the blue, which is obviously streams, and black. So the boulders and the rocks and the cliffs are all represented in black, as are trails and fences. Those are all in black. But what I want to get with to discuss today are the contour lines. The contour lines are these brown lines. And you can see the contour interval is two and a half meters. So that means that there's an altitude difference of two and a half meters between each of these contours. Every five contours is a dark line. So let's look at the way I normally explain contour lines is with pretending that my fist is a landform. And you'll notice that there's hills, and there's a spurs, and there's reentrance. A reentrant is where, if it were raining, water would collect and drain out into the, into the lakes. So let's assume that we're in a lake, and the only thing that's showing is this top hill. And so we're going to draw a contour line around the shoreline. So we're going to draw our first contour line. Now we're going to drop the water level two and a half meters, and we're going to draw our next shoreline, which is going to go around this one, and around this one, and around that one. So now we have two lines on this hill, and one line on each of those. And if we keep doing that, the next line goes outside on this spur, and then forms a point, and comes back out of this reentrant, around on the spur, point into the reentrant, and around onto the spur. And if we keep doing that, we're going to have a series of curves that go down, that point down the spur, and a series of points that point up the reentrant. So let's take a look at that. Here we have a spur, and we can go down this spur, and next to it we have a reentrant, and the points point up on the reentrant. Down on the spur, up on the reentrant, down on the spur, up on this reentrant, which then splits into two reentrants coming up. Now let's look, go back to our hand. When we look at our, our lines, which are all two and a half meters apart from the side, they're all even and parallel. But if we look at it from the top, where it was steep, all of these lines fit into this short distance. But where it was relatively flat, the same number of lines fit into a large distance. So when we go back to our map, we can see that over here, where the lines are close together, it's very steep. And over here, where the lines are far apart, it's relatively flat. So that was our quick introduction to the map. I hope you'll join us at one of our orienteering meets.